Okay folks, here's the first of the, the textile shearlings from the Greek from grass sale this year. This is uh, sired by an inch of sheep. You'll see he's he's got uh, tremendous skin and locomotion about him. He has a huge index of 327, which is putting in the, in the top 1% of the breed. Everything you want in a textile sheep here. Active, great skin, great legs, great feet, and just what what would fill your pockets. So you fill your boots, folks. And we'll come on to his half-brother now. Another by the Inchoch Ram, number two in the lot. Again, his index is in the top 1% of the breed. And we're looking at the texels. Obviously, we're looking at the terminal ability of them. And we all know how texel lambs do with folk. And everybody looks for a nice bare skin. And my goodness, hasn't that sheep got a tremendous skin and tremendous... Tremendous outlook about him. You see, he's wanting to get out there all the time. Number three this time. He's sired by Tatum Hall Whiskey. But again, a sheep with a fantastic set of figures. An index of 220, uh, 288, which takes him comfortably into the top 1% of the breed. And you must remember how, how accurate the Texel figures are now. There are so many of the Texel breeders using figures. So 1% in the Texels is really a figure worth worth going for. Again, a sheep with a tremendous skin and outlook, grooved on his legs. Of course, all the fern sheep have been very, very strictly vetted, so that makes such a difference you can buy with confidence. Number four here is by the Brion Yukon sheep, and his index is 267, again putting him comfortably into the top 1% of the breed. Now that's some some achievement of as many sheep as that in the top 1%. Again, we're looking at skins, locomotion, uh, the, the way he, they've all been vetted, you need have no fear. A nice, steady, well-balanced sheep. This is number five now, back to a son, uh, a son of the Inchoch. Yana's sheep, an index of 261, very active boy, he's keen to get to see the ladies, but you could see, see that, that sheep would do a lot of good. Again, the tremendous skin from all the sheep that are here. Uh, you know, the, the, they've been working on for years, even before the Great From Grass sale, they've been working with figures and with skins, and it's, it's becoming very, very obvious when you see the quality of the sheep that are on offer this year. Here we have number six. Now this is another son of the Enoch sheep, Enoch sheep, sorry, and again in the top one percent. Now this is obvious when you get in uh, so many sheep in the top one percent. That's just an, an indication of the fact that the Scots and Fern have been recording their texels for over 20 years and been they have a definite breeding policy and a breeding view and, and the, the policy is to get as many lambs off fat as quickly as possible and to have good, good skins. Many folks say the two things work together, sheep with good skins, very easily finished lambs and they've all, all these sheep, sheep in the top 1% have a fantastic muscle depth which makes for easier finishing and quicker finishing with your lambs. Number seven here is in the top 10% of the breed. He's a, a fine, active looking, alert sheep. Right bright eye on him, great skin again. Tremendous shape over the back end. Just a real good commercial sheep. Nobody would be afraid to buy that. Just what you would want to have amongst your ewes this October or November. He is in the top 10% of the breed, this number seven. Another by the Inchoch Sire and um, just a good, well-balanced sheep. But I would think anyone would be delighted going out and seeing him in the morning amongst the ewes. Number eight, that was a real active sheep. He's by the Tatton Hall sheep again. He's in the top 10%. And you can see when he's going away from you there, the business end is something to be seen.
Number nine is a, a really good sheep, again in the top 10%, but a huge scale about him. A really active lad too, he's looking, he's looking for an escape route all the time, that's what we want to see. Wonderful skin again, great locomotion, nice hair, well covered in his head, you won't have so much bother with head, uh, flies in the heads of your lambs with a fella like that. Number 10 here, I think this could well be the favourite of a lot of folk who are, who are uh, looking on, and this too is in the top 10% of the, the breed, his, his index is 235, which is really quite a massive index, you know, and he's a real good active sheep with the great skin, great shape, and just ready to do his job. The, f the fact that uh, sheep are in the ten, top 10%, it means, and particularly in a, a farm like this where they've been recording for so long, you can really buy with confidence because the accuracy figures are so much better over the years. And sheep like that, they've got all the attributes that the commercial man would want, but they've got figures as well, which is a great help. Now, look at the skin on that sheep. Isn't that just a picture? Just imagine the lambs you'll get off that. He's number 11 here on your catalogues, and he also is in the top 10%. He's got a very handy set of figures, 222, easy to remember. But he's got a grand bear skin and a tremendous chest on him when he's coming towards you there. You just see him, and you can just imagine the quality of lambs that that sheep would leave you. You'd buy with supreme confidence. Both ends are tremendous and the bit in the middle is pretty good. Next we have number 12, a great big outstanding sheep. Again you can see he's, be, he's been uh, rubbed a wee bit on the back end, perhaps his skin doesn't look as well but I can assure you that his skin is as good as the rest of them. He, he's got a, a figure of 220 which is a very high index again. A good long active sheep, right good over the line. And again, a, a nice front end on them and a grand back end on them. Thirteen. Lucky for Sam. This was one of my favourites when I saw them in the, in the shed this morning. A real meat machine, this. He again, he's in the top 10% of the breed and he's got an index of 216. The, Three or four index points either way don't make a huge difference, but again you can buy with confidence when you see a sheep with a skin like that. And nice tight skin, good head, great locomotion, always looking for something to do. Something that you would really be pleased to see in the morning. Here we have number 14, Grand Bearskin Sheep, and he's in the top 25% of the breed. Great, great outlook about him, grand on his legs, beautiful, beautiful hair on his hind leg too. If you're going to keep, if you're going to keep cross texel ewe lambs, this would be one of the lads to do because his maternal figures are pretty good too. His maternal ability is much better than some and his, perhaps his mature weight is not as big as some of them, but that will not do any harm. I think he's just all in all a great package of a sheep. Nice tight skin, nice outlook and away he goes. Number 15 too is in the top 25% of the breed and he, he's got a, an overall scan weight of 7.3. That means on, in reality that his lambs will be um, nearly four kilos heavier than average at scanning time or at weaning time, which is a huge advantage in the commercial trade. Great tight skin again and a grand mover. Number 16 here is a grand long sheep, tremendously well balanced, superb cover over the loin, and down, in, down into his jiggets. He's just a real meat machine too, although he is a wee bit shy. Again, he's got a scan weight, a scan weight figure of eight, which would mean that his his lambs will be four kilos heavier than your average lamb. Mm -hmm. And he's quite he's quite lean. His muscle depth is a, is a me negative factor. So if you've got 
you've got fatty type ewes and you've been troubling, having trouble with getting uh, fours in your killing sheets, this is the boy for you. Just a grand well balanced sheep. We're getting through the texels now and this is number 17 and uh, he's again a very tight skinned sheep, very well balanced sheep and he's got a fantastic muscle depth score of 0.67 that puts him well up. He is in the top 25 percent, uh, sorry he's, in the, he's above average in the breed but he's not perhaps as big as some of them and we have had an escapee. No. Okay, 18 who was so shy that he didn't wait for us at all, uh, he's in the above average in the breed, he's got an index of 164 which is still a, a more than respectable index, obviously a very active lad, flew over the, the hurdles with no bother at all, is interested in going to join his mates, but you can see him there and you can see how, how grand and tight his skin is, good and bare about the flanks, just what you would want for finishing lambs. Day number 19. We're wearing through this lot now folks, but we have a great long sheep here and again he's above the breed average. A good all round sensible commercial sheep. His best figures will be his scan weight of which is 4.2 and that means that his lambs will be at least 2 kilos on average heavier than your ordinary run of the mill lamb. So, well, well worth giving consideration to a sheep with a skin like that and the length. I, lo I love the way the sheep are so well covered over their loin because we all know that the loin is the bit that makes the money. The back end is the bit that looks good but the loin's where the money is made. And there's a great long sheep with a tremendous loin cover there. This is number 20 in the Texels and uh, again a long sheep with a tight skin, good, good locomotion his, his figures are, he's above average for the breed and as I said already you must remember just how many texels are being recorded throughout the length and breadth of the UK so anything above average is really what you're aiming for. So his, his strongest point probably is his scan weight, he would give you lambs which would be on average 3 kilos heavier. A nice well balanced sheep again, number 21, uh, looking at you there. He's fi fine and clean in, in his fleece, tight skin, bare of the flank, good, good over the loin again, g grand locomotion on him, bright and lovely hair. If you were to keep you lambs, this would, be a, this would be a boy that you'd give some consideration to because his maternal figures are quite good and with, with hair like that you'd think if, if you're going to keep you lambs, put that on a mule you, you'll be all the way. So that's number 21. Now the observant amongst you will notice that this sheep has a slightly puffy knee, he's number 22 but he has been vet checked and of course is guaranteed as all the rest of them but he's a real thick lad this, <coughs> Prob probably if he hadn't done that on his knee he'd be further up the score because he's a, an absolute lump of, of meat the whole way, it's just what you'd want to put on cross ewes and get, get really good early lambs off him. He, has got a scan weight which is quite good, he would be two, two kilos heavier than normal for his lambs and he would give you lean lambs, if you're, if you're troubled with over fat lambs he would give you slightly leaner lambs, so that's number 22 but be aware that he has a puffy knee which has been vet checked. And this is the last of this year's consignment of texels, number 23. A, a nice bear sheep again with a, a smooth fleshing ability, good on his legs, nice hair, bright eye, number 23, he would, he would give you slightly leaner lambs to if you, if you have a fat lamb problem but they would also be quite heavy, his lambs would be again two kilos heavier than your average. So that concludes the, the texels for this year.